Hello, welcome back. A uh, couple of interesting developments this turn. Uh, first of all, we got attacked again by more horrors. Uh, this was the guys forging, I think. Yeah, both of them in Casian Forest. Uh, I don't think I'm going to be doing much forging for a little while. Die important. Uh, Alm has cast the Wild Hunt. This only lasted one turn. Um, I think the person who cast it was immediately eaten by horrors. Um, but it did hit us. We got some more attacks then. Uh, we lost one of our adepts in Scarce Hope Waste. We actually only have, only have one adept left in Scarce Hope Waste, which kind of sucks. He's also horror marked. So we might lose anti-magic in this patrolling force soon. And uh, yeah, lost a priest. Lost a shackled mage. And then we got attacked by the Abomination of Desolation again. Uh, this was an Ard. So... I don't think Ard's been hit yet. It goes pretty similar to some of the others though. I realised that I've got Earth Mages scripted to cast Iron Warriors. Which is bad because a lot of these horrors seem to do lightning damage as well. And so I'll, I'll fix that. But um... I noticed it in this fight. There we go. This was... Hit in the body with Moonblade for 107 points of damage. Yeah, because I was looking at my um, Tyrants, and I noticed that this guy is susceptible to shock, and realised, oops, that's a mistake. Uh, that was hard anyway. Uh, battles then. Uh, Pavonia we scouted out. This is Nabar's throne. It does have patrollers. And there is some kind of interesting stuff here. Including storm demons, which are always a problem. Uh, we get killed immediately just by the hawks. Uh, but lots of spellcasters and things here. We can see these guys are very powerful. Marid. Uh, also loaded up with gems. I could have seen this army would have quite a lot of um, spell casting. And since there are storm demons, I would assume that there will be a storm. Uh, which means our tyrants will not be able to fly. It's worth bearing in mind. A lot of these guys have storm immunity. I guess they are a very stormy nation. <laughs> Yes, that looks like it might be a bit tough. We do have quite a big army though. Might be able to just walk into it. Um, that's Pavonia. Uh, also battle in Obsidian Wastes, which was just some random S1 mage attacking into me for some reason. Wise Spring Gro Grove is the golem. Um, taking territory around here. And Dead Forest is the province we just took from Nabar, adjacent to his throne. Uh, nothing too interesting here. We do get to see Underdog's guys. This goes Morales 3. Uh, this one's 9, he's not starving. The morale will be a problem. A lot of those guys are just on guard commander though, so it's not a big deal. We do get some early retreats though. It's a bit uncomfortable fighting into the dark skies. I'll have to try and get rid of it, I think. Uh, I also spied a battle over on Agatha's throne. I had my scouts sitting here waiting to see this. Have we seen these the bless here before? I can't remember. Um, morale plus one and blood surge. I wonder if that was an, uh, an awake bless, but the god has died. No storm in this fight, interestingly. We do have air mages with air gems. Maybe the enemy, enemy army was just too small. So that was Silverham. So Nabar has another throne now. 
And then we got attacked by Wild Hunt. Guess who it hit? It hit my prophet who was moving back to join his army. Uh, this is really unfortunate. This is the only turn that Wild Hunt was up. Wild Hunt was up for one turn and then the caster died. So literally the only th effect casting Wild Hunt did was it killed my prophet. Uh, and probably a couple of other random commanders as well around the world. But this is really bad for us because that was our last throne claiming commander. Uh, and it's been killed by Ulm. Which puts us in a really difficult spot because we can't claim thrones now. Uh, events we got a bunch of gold which is nice. And uh, we befriended some gnomes in Ard. Who amusingly enough are now in a squad with some giants. Uh, worldwide event, Cataclysm, and I think that's everything. Um, the, the fortress that we just moved on is now open. Uh, yeah, I, I... So, here's the thing, we, we can't claim thrones at all now. We have no H3s and no access to H3s. Usually what you'd do now is you'd summon a bishop fish underwater. And I thought, yeah, that's no problem because there's a lake right here. And we've got a water mage with the army. So he could just go in the water I'm on a bishop fish, we get him on land and he'd claim it immediately. No big deal. Uh, turns out we still only have good conjuration 5 though. Um, bishop fishes require conjuration 6. So, that. Wild Hunt really just kind of screwed us in getting thrones. Uh, so, I wasn't sure what to do now. Yeah, I could have all the mages currently patrolling do one turn of research. But um, if Scabiel suddenly drops on one of our throne forts while we're doing that, we just lose the throne. Because I'm pretty sure he destroys thrones just by putting the fort under siege. So I, I don't, I didn't think it was worth the risk. I think we just have to kind of, we just have to eat the delay. I think I don't know what else to do. But this time I'm going to storm this castle, and all of the mages storming. I guess we'll do some research for a little bit. Um. Yeah, but I don't really know what else to do. I, I've got all these little S1 priests set to call God now as well to try and get my God back. I guess he could claim thrones. But to be honest, I think he's so horror marked that if he gets called back into the world, he'll just get eaten immediately, so I'm not sure. But our, ch our choices are we can either research up to Bishop Fish, summon one of those to get the throne claimed. We can wait until we can declare a new prophet, or we can call our God back. And there's nothing else we can do, I don't think. So for now I'm just going to storm this fort, we'll do some research, we'll put a temple up I guess, and then we'll wait maybe one more turn, two more turns, and then we'll try dispelling dark skies and attack into Pavonia. Uh, and just have to, I don't know, wait a few more turns while we get research done to summon a fish. I don't know what else to do. Uh, that's really unfortunate. My prophet was only here because I separated him from the army to claim this throne, and it turns out I didn't need to do that. There was no point ensuring because no way to interrupt a throne claim. And then when I moved him back, I moved him into this forest instead of into this fort because why not? I mean, the giant was here. I thought it was better to have stuff together than apart. And if I'd moved him into the fort, he wouldn't be able to get over the river. He had quickness boots, so maybe he could have made the the two moves. But I didn't want to take the chance. I thought it was better to put him here because, uh, you know, there's a, ri a river pass. And so that's why he was in the forest and not this forest. Um, also summer as well, so there was no chance of this river freezing or anything and, or letting us across. So I think it was better to send the prophet to the forest than the fort. It's just kind of unfortunate that Wild Hunt went up for one turn and just to kill him. Um, I don't even if it's even if I'd given him a bottle, I don't think it would have helped or anything. I don't think there's any way I could have kept that prophet alive. So we're just screwed now. Um we are still ahead on thrones. So if another throne gets eaten, we need two more to get eaten to win though. Not sure. For now though, we're just going to have to delay down here. Uh, I'm going to storm this fort. 
Uh, everyone else is just patrolling still. Uh, I'm also moving two water mages underwater here. Uh, that's just in case this goes wrong or all of the water mages in this province die. I guess there's only one currently. Um, now we've got two boosters here, so any of the W1 mages could do it. But yeah, that's all that's happening this time. Oh, what sites are here? Water, Astral Nature, that's pretty nice. Um, alright. Ending turn. That was turn 76. Sad turn, guys. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next turn. Hello, welcome back. Uh, another throne is claimed. This is Nabar claiming the throne he just attacked, I assume. Uh, and then a bunch of people got attacked by horrors, no one too interesting. There was a horse tribe chief uh, who got attacked, uh, and then a sage and a shackle mage over in Maragnon, and Scarce Hope Wastes, respectively. Uh, then we were attacked by big horrors again. Uh, Joan once again was attacked by the Abomination of Desolation. Went very easily this time though. One of my tyrants just ran up and two shot him. Didn't really kill many people this time. And Kaz Hador got attacked by the Slave of Unreason, which is um, strange. An empty province. He just killed some cows. Uh, well, didn't even kill them. He enslaved them. So there you go. Uh, we then had a battle in Dead Forest. This is Nabar's fortress. He broke siege, it looks like, with six mages. Uh, they do lots of fire elementals. But uh, yeah, we clean those up quite quickly. And that's that. That's that was Dead Forest. Did lose a couple of helots. Um, but he lost six casters, so that's fine. Uh, and we then stormed Dead Forest. And... What oh, was now empty? Um, weirdly enough though, that we did actually lose two mages in the storm, fort, uh, storm fight. So storming the entry for empty fort was a bit more difficult than fighting the six mages. Um, so we have this fort now. And there is a lab here, which is nice. Uh, lightning continues to strike actually killed one of our Adepts of the Iron Order, which is a bit unpleasant. And we saw uh, Enchanted Forest hit this province, which is... Um, I guess it is adjacent to Arek's territory here, so... I keep thinking that Arek is like way north of Caelum, and it's like, no, he's right here as well. That's um, events, we got um, Knights taking care of Unrest in Bonkish. Found another giant nugget in the Cavern of Tog, giving us 660 gold. Unfortunately, we then, we then lost gold in Rimo uh, to unruly people destroying valuable equipment. And in Eel, we got five fire gems. Uh, more horror stuff. And we lost our scout that was in Silverham. It got patrolled out. Uh, did a bunch of patrolling ourselves, and we got a new commander in the Hall of Fame. Uh, Whey Protein Isolate to Fartless is now heroically precise. So there you go. Uh, and that is it for messages. Um, pretty simple turn. We are now at 688 research per month. We're not too far off Bishop Fish. Um, as long as we keep researching with our normal amount of research, I think it should be fine. Um, the guys sitting in Dead Forest currently are all just researching for a little bit. Um, I think they will do one turn of research, and next turn we'll try dispelling Dark Skies and just hitting this throne. Uh, and... You know, it might go well, it might not. It, it's a bit of a toss-up. These are both pretty small armies now. There's only 52, 52. About 100-ish Hellot Warriors. And then some Hellot Archers as well. A um, couple of Mages. A bunch of Cave Grubs. And that's it. We've also got, you know, the, all the Mages and the Geared Tyrants. Uh, and I'm sending down another Tyrant that we've just recruited. Um, I'll probably give him the Moonblade. I'll give him like he's an anti-horror tyrant. I um, mean, he can just attack enemy magic beings. That's fine. He's got D2, so with some gems he'll be able to cast Soul Vortex. I think he'll be fine. He's just moving straight to Dead Forest this turn. 
Um, I did recruit a couple of sages last turn to make sure that we have water mages. We managed to get one, so we're at water mages and then moving down towards this region as well. Um, just in case we need him to summon a bishop fish. And that's about it. Everyone else is just still patrolling. Uh, no new recruitment needed to be put anywhere. We've lost quite a lot of stuff in Ard. We're down to two torrents, an adept, two shackled mages, and a sage. Uh, so there's not much here, but torrents are pretty good. So hopefully they're fine on their own. And the adept is doing anti magic. Not much else to say though. We'll just we'll try to dispel Dark Skies next turn and just roll into this throne. And uh, the business of actually trying to claim it then will be <laughs> something we'll sort out over the following couple of turns. I think I'm also putting down a temple here. Yeah, I'm building a temple in this forest. Uh, just in case we can't dispel Dark Skies, I'll move into this fort at the same time that I cast Dispel. Because I think that'll take it down for when we're actually fighting. But if we're unsuccessful and we don't knock Dark Skies out, well, at least the temple will be here. Maybe it'll push one Dark Candle out of this province or something? I don't know. Uh, that was turn 77. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next turn. Hello, welcome back. Uh, none of our thrones were attacked this turn, it was just individual commanders being attacked, which is nice. I think that's the first time that's happened, right? Or maybe for a while. I don't know, it feels like we've been killing um, the Abomination of Desolation every turn for a while. Um, but we lost a major, we lost uh, another tyrant, which is really unfortunate. This is in the army that was about to attack Nabar. Um, it wasn't one of the properly geared tyrants, it was just a guy who was... Um, Spellcasting, but even so, he had a lot of items. And he's still very powerful. Uh, he gets shredded by Saltorns. Like, just absolutely blown to bits. Um, so that was unfortunate. So that, that was, um... That was one of the tyrants that was in Dead Forest currently. Uh, also lost a, a Sage and a Priest. Priest was over here in Boggawald. Um, sage was on Scurs Hope, I think. Um, yeah, pretty bad, but um, not too bad. But we also got um, Lightning continues to kill people, including Carrot Juice Enema. And I'm pretty sure the Lightning must have killed the Water Mage I recruited last turn, because it, it's gone. Um, I distinctly remember recruiting a Water 2 Mage and moving it down towards this region. Uh, but it doesn't exist anymore, so... Yeah. Unexpected events. The Knights of Barnkish continue reducing unrest. Winner got plus 10 defense. See if um, Karasos got dominion change. Don't know whose that is though. And World's Teeth got a single Ur gem. Uh, and that's it. Uh, nothing happening this turn other than this stuff. So, Thrones still just being patrolled. And that's about it. And down here, I'm going to attack this throne this turn. Um, research currently is. We should get Conjuration 7 this turn, so that's fine. I'm pretty sure nothing can ever change research, because it's like the first thing that happens when the turn resolves. So 246 is always going to be 246. So we'll definitely hit Conjuration 6 next turn. Uh, with that in mind, uh, I'm going to move a Water Mage into see if Karasos here, uh, which is going to be this guy. There's only a Shackled Mage, but I gave him the two boosters. He's not currently Horror Marked, so hopefully he's okay. Um, but he'll cast Bishop Fish next turn in C. There is no other Water Mage I can get to this province um, other than the stuff that's already here. I Believe me, I've tried every combination of items that I've got, but can't do it. Oh, it's just a shame. We've got these backup mages sitting here, though. Um, but we'll move the mages, the Water Mage into Sea of Karasos, and while we're doing that, I've got uh, a Priest preaching. The army is moving onto the throne this turn. And Essis here, who's kind of a lost cause, he's pretty seriously um, damaged. Uh, not yet horror mark though. Um, which is pretty funny because he's got an eye of the void. He's going to cast Dispel this turn on Dark Skies. I have alchemized all my gems as you can see. I've kept some water and air gems for Bishopfish stuff just to make absolutely sure we can do that. Um, but 252 pearls. I'm pretty sure if I remember rightly, Nabar at some point in the game I had Galegate. Maybe I'm misremembering. I think Nabar had Galegate though. 
So he might have overcast Dark Skies quite significantly. Um, did he overcast by 122 gems? I don't know. So we'll try dispelling that this turn. Um, because I think we are going to have real problems if it's not down. We'll dispel that, we'll move into the throne, and it's worth remembering this army isn't actually that good either. It's basically a hundred helots and some cave grubs. But we do have a couple of good torrents here, including the new guy, who now has a moonblade. Um, so it's three guys who are doing soul vortex stuff. And one guy who isn't. So that's four geared tyrants, two who can fly, two who are quick. Um, a bunch of spellcasters. We're going to fog warriors on turn one, in theory, if everything goes correctly. Uh, with this guy. Then we're going to lay down lots of marble warriors as well. Um, got a water communion guy doing cleansing water, which does affect demons, so hopefully that kills a few storm demons pretty quickly. Uh, I've got Astral Guys doing Anti-Magic and Doom. We've also got Arrow Fend and Wind Guide and Flaming Arrows. Um, and lots of Weapons of Sharpness as well. So that's it for scripting. It, it's really not a great army, but hopefully we can survive long enough that our Tyrants do some, some work. Have to see how it goes. Um, might be worth pointing out, uh, at the very beginning of the game we got a free commander you might remember from an event who was carrying Enchanted Soul. So I've given it to this guy, uh, who's on attack largest. I'm pretty sure Nabar's big mages are, how, are salt vulnerable, right? Um, so that might be kind of amusing, I don't know. Hopefully it comes in handy. Yeah, this is not much of an army. I'm not sure what else to do there. We do, I've given like all of the bottles of living water out though, so there's a couple of water elementals in the army as well. I wasn't sure if it was worth doing some So Dragon's Teeth, but I feel like I really like having some Marble Warriors laid down. I kind of feel like I have to choose between the two. The other guys are going to try and spam our elementals as well, when they can. Ah uh, yeah. Let's see how it goes. I uh, don't know that I can. If, if this goes badly, then I think we just spend the rest of the game patrolling. Oh, which is kind of dull. So, I will mark turn as... partialed. Uh, that was turn 78. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.